This year, Indiana completed one of the greatest turnarounds in the history of college basketball. And two gentlemen who helped lay the foundation are with me here today. And Corey, is it hard to believe after what this program has been through these last couple of years to see it come to fruition like this, beating number one, number two, number five in the country, Purdue twice, and all teams within the state of Indiana by double-digit points. I don't know if I'd say it's hard to believe. It's definitely a relief um, with the amount of preparation and hard work that we put in. Uh, it's good to see it come back full for us, especially as a senior class. And uh, Coach Kareen just always recruited the right way and brought in the right kind of players. And I've been blessed as a play with so many just not only great basketball players, but great individuals. And I know that once my time has passed here, that I'll always look back on this team and not only have uh, just the memories, but really good, great friends just because of the, the, the great people that he brought in. Dan, one of the reasons I think Indiana fans have responded so well to you is that we watch you on the court and we see you as one of us, somebody who grew up an IU basketball fan from the state of Indiana. What does it mean to you to finally get to the NCAA tournament? Uh, it's very special. It's, uh, it's always uh, it's a regular thing for IU to make the tournament, and the last couple of years have been uh, – a little down and a little weird that I use not in the tournament. So it's uh, I'm glad that as seniors we finally are going to get a chance to go and hopefully we can do some damage. Corey, looking at this team, there's a lot of talent, a lot of great individual parts, but you've seen time and time again on fast breaks, people dishing it off to the open man. This seems to be a really unselfish group. It really is. Uh, from from bottom to top, we've been real unselfish the entire time. From pregame from drills before the season to, to now it's just been all the way through just guys playing for each other and playing for the name on the front of the jersey and, and that's what Indiana is all about so it's, it's been great to see that. Daniel looking at this team it's been great to see how the young players have come into the fold you look at Cody Zeller, uh, Victor Oladipo, Will Sheehy they've done a great job blending in with the with the older veteran players. Yeah definitely I mean I think part of that has to do with the great offseason we had as a team we, uh, I know the freshmen got there in June, but we, we started working the day we got back from spring break, and it's been a process. It hadn't just been since game one. We've been working really hard since April to get to where we're at today, and from top to bottom of our roster, everybody's gotten better.